Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Comsol for Beginners in 2023. This series is being recreated with an intention to provide more information so that it helps you developing your research problem. We have already uploaded a few videos in this particular series. I'll request you to watch the entire playlist to get better understanding of this software. If you are working, if you have just started working with it, I would recommend don't miss any of the videos and also write in the comment section if you have any queries because I am taking the comments seriously and I am working on the comments so that I can develop more videos. Like very recently, I had I saw a comment uh, that is on two-phase flow. Why we basically use those multiphysics options in two-phase flow? Those are two-phase level set multiphysics and weighted wall. So what are the I mean why those things are there? So that was the question. So. I thought of taking an application bound application library problem that means the problem which is already available as a tutorial in ComSol Multiphysics. The logic is if we go through the tutorials very diligently then we will come to know many points and that points will help us developing our further research problem. Suppose this is a capillary rise problem if you see if you go to the application library you will see they have developed two tutorials uh, one is capillary filling taking the level set equation and the other is the same capillary rise but taking the phase fill equation so so they have developed developed both the models if you go through those models it will be helpful so one thing we have already discussed and that is in the level set I have shown you uh, the value of phi remains between 0 to 1 whereas in the phase field the value of phi goes from minus 1 to plus 1. In relation to this particular series I will also make few videos that will talk purely about phase field and level set. I actually am not a researcher in multiphase flow but I just started working on a two-phase flow problem so i'm learning about this two-phase flow once i can understand those equations better i'll make few more videos so that it complements i mean this particular videos get complemented by those information so as of now uh, those preliminary understanding those preliminary things are important like phase field we have minus one to plus one and this is level set this is zero to one we have defined where the initial, I mean, which place, what liquid material is there initially. Like in this particular case, this part is air and the bottom was filled with water. So if you see, yeah, this part was filled with water and the top part was filled with air initially. And as this is a capillary channel so if you see the dimension so the dimension is uh, height and the width is 0.3 millimeter that means 300 micron so the dimension of this one is 0.3 millimeter that means 300 micron only so that's a capillary channel so we all know when you when you dip a capillary inside a water but what happens the water actually comes up and it fills the capillary and this happens uh, because of the capillary force so in this case this two phase flow they actually take care of this capillary force and that capillary uh, if you just look at this particular case they have not added any of the volume force but still this is being dragged. So why exactly this is being dragged? This is happening because of the capillary force. Now the capillary force, if you remember from your class 2 level physics, the capillary force happens due to the force which is coming from the weightability condition. That means what is the contact angle of that particular liquid onto 
the surface of the let's say glass surface so those things are coming into picture this particular video i'm not going into details of the capillary force but i may be uploading another video on the capillary force so that this this one becomes more useful but as of now what i understand is we need to put the condition of contact angle in my physics and that is being done by this waiting wall condition now i am coming here so they have attached an a nice image here just to make you understand make us understand about the equations they are using so mind it this is a two phase flow so at the wall when we define the boundary condition we have to define the flow condition as well as the level set condition so you can see this is the level set condition n is the normal vector so n dot this part is equal to zero now i have not explored all the equations in very detail but i'm working on it i'll be uploading more videos with explanation of all the equations but as of now we just try to understand that those are the equations which are being satisfied at these two walls and that is why <coughs> that is being taken care of by the multiphysics option now i will show you one more thing you have the option to choose different kinds of wall conditions so that you can do from here suppose initially we the option was navier slip if you look at the equation very carefully this is the navier slip where u slip that is coming because of the navier slip boundary condition options and in my previous videos i have also explained that whenever you see a bottom dotted line in comsol that means those two equations are active for this boundary condition or for this particular case now if i change this condition say from navier slip i change it to asymptotic slip I don't know what this one is but it will change the equation that is my intention that is my intention to show you you can see when you take asymptotic slip it takes certain two coefficients like coefic compliance coefficient and slip velocity coefficient whatever it is I do not know much about it but these two things should come in the equation you can see this you can see the equation has changed so you have this k1 and k2 in the equation so there are some background equations which are already taken by comsol you are just tuning the drop down menu and it is tuning the equation so this is such a way defined we, we just change the drop down and it takes the right equation so uh, that is the magic of comsol you don't need to bother much about the equations because the equations have already been taken otherwise you can understand if you are say working with this particular condition then it has some tau y and k1 and k2 or kappa 1 and kappa 2 so uh, you can see the equation has been changed like this way in the equation you have this tau y option you have this kappa 1 and kappa 2 option so what i am again and again trying to tell you is uh, if, if you don't have idea about those boundary conditions then it is very difficult to write a code and also you can understand how difficult it would be to discretize this particular boundary condition at this wall so whatever console is solving this is, that is very critical what is happening in the background is very critical but our task is to understand to separate it out into small small sections and try to understand at least the equations because if we understand the equations then we will be able to model our case so today with this i am stopping here and i promise that i'll be coming up with more detailed information about those equations uh, okay now before i stop i should just talk two lines about these two phase uh, multiphysics conditions so i have actually talked about it multiple times but this multiphysics condition is needed because we know that this level set and the fluid flow is coupled by the u velocity so this particular coupling actually does this thing you can see laminar flow and level set and if you see the equation and also 
the effect of surface tension is already available here La suppose you are trying to model a marangani flow case then you have to take this option if there is any surface tension change at the interface it will take as a as a boundary condition as a force in the equation and uh, again um, i'll be uploading a video on this marangani force related equation so in two phase flow understanding the equations are difficult but if we understand then we understand the problem better so i have seen there is a huge demand of this two phase flows so i thought of understand reading this particular topic and uh, creating more videos so do watch my videos if those videos are helpful kindly subscribe to our channel share those videos with with your peers if you do that it will help me to it will actually encourage me to upload more videos